Dr. Mwini was speaking to more than 300 Catholic and Protestant sixth form students in Enniskillen. It's from there that Bill Neely now reports. A school assembly with a difference. A Minister of Education appealing to Catholic and Protestant 17-year-olds for reconciliation. You can change things, he said. Some in my generation have too much hatred and bigotry to do so. It is a fallacy to believe that government can forever protect people from the consequences of their own actions. We may be able to stop the fighting in the streets, but only you can stop the fighting taking place in hearts and minds. His appeal against intimidation, hatred and discrimination was well received. Each student and every school in Northern Ireland now has a copy of a document from 1835 given by Brian Mahwini because he believes its lesson, live peacefully, pray for murderers and don't quarrel with your neighbours, is relevant today and gives hope for the future. Oh, yes, I do, because I think that there is an increasing an understanding that things cannot go on as they are at the moment and that uh, young people themselves are saying, look, we would like it to be different. But some of those young people whose fathers or uncles had been shot dead by terrorists weren't confident that it could be different. Shortly after my father was killed, I decided that when I reached 18, I'd like to leave. Because I thought I'd um, spent long enough here and wanted to get out. People are blinded by the hatred and see nothing but the hatred. But they have to look and see that there is so much good going on in the communities as well. Over the past three years since my father's the uncle's death, I've uh, become quite disillusioned with the state of affairs in Northern Ireland because um, both sides seem to be getting even more and more entrenched. The government is hoping its message of peace from the Victorian age will convince those who have known no peace now in 17 years. 17 years ago today, the army...